it's unfortunate to give up a 2-0 lead, but you know, credit to them, they're in the top of the table for a reason. They've only lost one game this season, so they weren't going to fold. And you know, that's been part of our character all year. We, we're, we're willing to fight till the very end. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Today we got a tie, you know, but we weren't going to give up, and we believed till the very end. You know, tonight was huge. You know, it was. I mean, these four years went by so fast, but the memories that I've had on this field are unbelievable, they're unforgettable. The people that I've played with here have meant the world to me, and I'm so grateful for what the program has given me. So, you know, tonight was a big night. You know, I, I gave it my all. I wanted to make sure that I had no regrets coming out of the field, and, you know, honestly, I can say I don't. You know, I'm playing with some great players, and I tried my hardest, and luckily we were able to get a point out of a, what should have been a win, but that's besides the point. He's a talented soccer player, and he's contributed uh, in, in a great way in the last three years in each of our of our championship uh, seasons. You know, in this year, been in the hunt and, and really growing up tremendously um, as, as a young man. So I'm really, really proud of him and thank him. Um, he's been here with us the last four years. My overall experience at FBU has been great. I've learned a lot through Coach Jaime and developed, I think, as a player and as an ind individual making choices on and off the field that have really impacted my life. I have a lot of respect for Jaime as a coach and as a leader, and I think I think my FBU experience has really shaped me into the person I am today. Nick Watson, he, he, is a, he has a special place in my heart because I coached him as a 13-year-old. He has been a steady, steady player for us. Um, at first, he had a bit of a challenge because he was behind a couple of veteran players in the left back. Uh, with a lot of experience, with a lot of speed, but he was so patient and he's such a great, great team player that uh, that he was willing to to wait for his time to be uh, to be a starter. And you know, the, this year he asked for more of a significant role on the team, and we, we made him one of our uh, one of our co-captains uh, on the team. Um, is because again, he's one of our few seniors, and he's one of the guys that has seen what we've done here the last few years, and he's been. Uh, uh, a contributor with uh, Tati, for example, who came last year as a transfer student uh, with the uncertainty as to whether or not he would be eligible um, and to find out last year that he wasn't and then in the process uh, to eventually hear that he did have one year left. Um, his patience, his perseverance, um, his love for Festo Pacific once he came here and, and understood the, the conditions and the circumstances with, with which uh, he arrived. It, it's really, for me, it's a blessing.